So to experience the virtual desktop on your Android, go to the uh, marketplace and type in Citrix. And this will bring up the Citrix receiver app, which you're going to download and install on your Android tablet. So uh, I've chosen the beta version. Choose uh, install or, or download to bring the app down onto your device. Now I've had to obliterate my email address so no one spams me, so uh, hence the red scribbles across the screen. And I'll be putting a few red scribbles across the screen just to hide my email address and details at various points. So as the uh, app comes down, next thing we're going to do is to go back to the desktop of the uh, Android device and choose the Citrix receiver. So there it is. Click on it. Hit the Try Demo box. Uh, this will set up a demo desktop for you, so you won't be able to say things or, or what have you, uh, but you will be able to experience a virtual desktop. So type in your details, your email address, hit next and go. Now this is going to bring up something called the storefront. So choose the apps tab and choose the WWCO desktop. When the icon's in the storefront, click on it. Now it's connecting to the back-end systems where the virtual desktops to be created. Uh, you need to click on OK, which is just accepting the terms and conditions of the demo. And so the virtual desktop that's part of the demonstration desktop is being set up in the background. So just connecting now. Uh, now I did this recording in the UK. The uh, demo desktop is actually somewhere in the cloud uh, in the US. So it's connected, connected to that back-end system. And when you use your virtual desktop, you can use various gestures. This little uh, screen just shows you that if you uh, click and hold, then that gives you the right uh, click on a mouse button. And so you can spend a bit of time just reading this, how to get the various uh, gestures working. Now, I like to use the pointer. Uh, this means that the uh, screen acts like a trackpad and I can move the pointer around. So there's PowerPoint. I'm into my desktop. I can uh, just hide the keyboard, do whatever I like to uh, PowerPoint, choose different templates or whatever. So just like Word on a, on a PC, really easy to use. So I'm going to close this down. Uh, don't save. Uh, here's the start menu. Now I know it's a bit bleached out here, but I could just navigate to the programs as I do on a normal desktop. Remember, this is a Windows desktop seemingly running on my Android. OK, cancel out of that. Uh, there's some files that are provided on the demo desktop, so if you click into that, now again, sorry, it's bleached out, you won't be able to see it very well, but you can click through the various files. I want to try to find a CAD file here of some sort for you to take a look at. Uh, this one here, I'm going to open it up, uh, accept the, uh, I'm not going to register now, accept the terms and conditions, just expand it. And here's a, I think it's an F-11 fighter plane. Just hit the play button and you'll see a little bit of an animation as it turns uh, that plane around. Okay, so this is high-end graphical uh, applications running on a virtual desktop in the cloud somewhere. And I'm using it on my Android tablet. Okay, so just quit out of this. Now I can go straight back to the Android desktop. So there I can see the receiver. If I click back on it, I'm back into my uh, Windows desktop. Or I can exit out of the receiver. Here I'm in the storefront. Click back on the desktop icon. And I'm back into my virtual desktop. So that's how you can experience a virtual desktop on uh, an Android device in less than uh, two minutes.